All right, YouTube, uh, Good Marks Goods here. Uh, today I went to my silver plate storage trailer. Um, just wanted to talk, talk a little bit about why I'm doing this and why I think the silver plate is worth, um, worth, um, collecting. Um, first of all, there's, I think that it's actually quite undervalued and, um, ignored in the marketplace. So there used to, there was a, a whole ton of it. And, uh, silver as a, as a household item and household decor is kind of outdated. A lot of people think so. Um, silver, you, you need to, um, you need to provide some maintenance with it. Um, it tarnishes, so every once in a while you have to, um, you have to shine it up or, and you, and, um, you can't really throw it in the dishwasher. So, as far as compared to like um, plastic or porcelain, cheap Chinese china plate or stainless steel, that's what we use nowadays. Plastic cups. It's um, it's a lot more co convenient for for a lot of people. They just don't want to deal with a silver plate but it is beautiful and there's a lot of history behind all this stuff um before we used to have stainless steel and uh, and plastics and sil uh silver plated items were very much in in almost every home in America. Of course, their stainless steel has been around for a while, but before that, and, and even during the advent of um, many homes used to have um, silver-plated flatware and cups and trays and etc etc and nowadays uh, those items um, it's common knowledge that people say that there's no monetary value to these to silver plate whatsoever and you you can barely even give it away and well one man's trash is another man's treasure I think that it's very, it is very much valuable. First of all, you got the base metals. Um, this stuff is, it's got, a lot of times it's on copper. As a base metal. Or when you, when it's marked EPNS, as a um, electroplated nickel silver. That's practically brass. So, if, obviously, this these items, even if they aren't, even if they don't have, like, collectible value, there's still, there's still a lot of value on the base metal itself. Even, even when you're not even talking about the silver on them. But let's talk about the silver on them. If you try to send this to a refinery, they'll tell you that it's not worth anything because there's a lot of there's a lot of energy and and acid that they'll use that they'll need in order to uh, refine these products. So they just don't want to deal with them. They'll take it for the brass metal, uh, for the base metal. And refine them for that if you've if you've got like a couple hundred pounds, but they'll think of the silver as just um, waste or or a contaminant to this base metal. And I think that's bullshit. 
Because, uh, well, silver might not have always been, um, it's, it's not, it may have always been, um, relatively cheap where they can't economically recycle this. But I'm also a silver stacker and I believe that silver has a very bright future ahead of itself. Where I wouldn't be surprised if in uh, 10 years, what used to be very uneconomically friend, um, uneconomically viable to uh, to recover the silver from this, it will be very economically friendly. Because a lot of... I've uh, watched a lot of people who... Who uh, deplate this stuff, and they get around one and a half percent yield, and that's that's straight up like by weight of the item. So if I got this tray and it's about a pound, there could be 0.15 pounds, or let's put it another way, because that's a little. Pounds are 0 .1, 0 0.015 pounds. That's kind of hard to work with. So let's say there's about 450 grams in a pound. So you'd expect around 6 to 7 grams of silver from this thing right here. That, on top of the base metal. So you got like a a pound of brass on top of six to seven grams of uh, sil of silver. And in higher silver prices, that's definitely going to be worth uh, recycling, especially since we're starting to see a silver shortage. Um, industry is not able to source all the silver that they're going to need in the future. So what used to be like garbage literal garbage it's actually a gold mine waiting to happen so i'm looking to get a lot of this stuff but you could also talk about it's actually quite old and like i said um homes used to have a lot of this stuff and it, most of these pieces are are 100, 150 years old, maybe. Where if, if people start recycling this stuff at a long, at a larger scale because of the silver that will become worth, um, scrapping uh the rarity of these items is still is, are going to increase as well and there's there are collectible items uh, i can i can resell some of them they don't move very fast but there are some hot items that that you want to be out on the look for ice buckets They go on eBay for 60, 60 bucks at least. Um, anything railroad related, that'll go. Uh, when, when you look at more of this stuff, you'll end up seeing the same names over and over again. Like, this is W.M. Rogers. Uh, Rogers made a lot of things. So a lot of pieces are... Of WM Rogers they're they're not very rare and they'll only go for a few bucks but if you find it like if you find I items that that have um, old makers that that don't exist anymore is like they, they were they were merged into the big companies like international silver 
uh, international silver makes a lot of made a lot of this um, this silver plated flour, and they were able to gobble up a lot of the old old um, competitors. So you could find companies that uh, that were bought out by them. They don't. They're very vintage, and they could be worth uh, quite a penny to um, to collectors. I can like to try to find some, but but a lot of the time you'll you'll see it marked as, as quadruple plate. This piece is a, it's marked Castleton. It's a gravy boat by International Silver. I, w I would say this is worth maybe 10 bucks if you can find a buyer. But uh, if you can find pieces by, by companies that, um, that no longer exist, and you'll be able to research the uh, hallmarks. 925forum.com is a very great resource for understanding a hallmark. You can ask them on the forum, take a picture of a hallmark, and they'll they'll show you. I um I highly could um I highly encourage you to check out Rain Dorothy Rainwater's book. It's, she's got an encyclopedia on American silver plate make, manufacturers. That I can also tell you. Uh, some um, great information about any makers that you find that may be vintage. And you can also find, like, they're also marked like treble plate or a special white hard metal, or EPNS. All these are, are pretty vintage hallmarks. Uh, British plate, British silver plate is also collectible. You'll see that they have, they uh, often have, um, pseudo hallmarks because their sterling is hallmarked with like pictures of of a lion passant and and uh, pictures of their assay offices where they assayed it but their silver plate is also very ornately um, detailed with their makers in cursive writing if you find that you'll that it's often collectible as well. Like you said, railroad pieces. Found a railroad, Santa Fe railroad um, cruette set. It's probably gonna fetch at least a hundred dollars. I found a Wabash railroad creamer. Probably going to fetch at least 50 bucks. Um, and you can actually find sterling in this stuff. When you find when you collect uh, silver plate in, and uh, find it on the cheap, oftentimes sterling is kind of slips by. You'll be surprised. It's not going to happen every time. But when you do find it, it'll definitely pay for the entire box. So I just wanted to talk about my channel a little bit. I have an introduction if you guys can stand all the ums and hums and humming and humming when I, while I'm thinking and talking. Um, I think you'll enjoy this channel. I'm into silver plate a lot more than anybody else I've ever seen, and a lot of people think I'm shit crazy for even trying to to acquire it. But I I honestly want to own tons of material as it's cheap i can find it at base metal prices and i believe that as the price of silver scales up that the value of this stuff even just as its base material will will scale with along with the silver if the silver is 300 dollars an ounce and i bought this stuff at three dollars a pound I think that this stuff is going to be worth thirty dollars a pound, and the silver will just scale along with the, 
the silver plate. So, I just wanted to talk to you guys about EP, about what I'm doing. I I bought a bunch of silver plate. I have it in the, in a pickup truck, and now I have to do a lot of work in order to um, put the silver plate into boxes. Just get, just gonna be resting in here. All right, good marks, goods out. And if you guys got any questions, leave them in the comments below. I love to hear from you.